everyone, and thank you for joining me today for this program of Recipe with Memory. The Recipe with Memory project commemorates Israeli victims of terror, soldiers, and civilians in a way that combines food and memory. Every person from everywhere in the world knows the feeling of loss and longing. Every person has a recipe that reminds them of someone dear. Thousands of families who lost their loved ones uploaded a recipe that their close one liked most so that people will continue to memory him in a unique and touching way. In this program, we will make a carrot cake in the memory of Kimi Cheskel, who fell the victim of terror in a shooting attack at the Alon factory in the Balkan industrial area, only 28 years old at her death. For this program, you will need one and a half cups of white flour, one and a half cups of whole wheat, one and a half tablespoons of baking powder, one tablespoon of cinnamon, three quarters of cup water, half a cup of silan, which is honey date, one cup of sugar, three tablespoons of oil, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and three medium carrots. So what is the Metconin Zikaon Taste of Memories project? Food is a common language all over the world. In the kitchen, you meet, smell, taste, and miss. In commemoration of Yom Zikaron and also the celebrations of Yom Atzmaut, we have, thanks to those exact people we lost, the Taste of Memories project came up. To honor the memory of Israel's fallen soldiers and victims of terrorism in a unique way by making their favorite food. So now we're going to watch a short video about Kim. Early morning, Kim Levengon Tijeskel, a young mother, dropped off her 15-month-old baby at daycare with a hug and a big smile. She promised to pick him up at the end of the day. Ziv Khajbi, father of three, was first to arrive at the office so he can make it on time for the family dinner. Sadly, they could not keep their promise. An hour later, they were brutally murdered by a Palestinian terrorist who was working with them at the same factory. This factory at Balkan Industrial Park is a symbol of coexistence and employed Palestinians and Israelis side by side for many years. So now, after we learned a bit about Kim, you can also Google her name and search and learn more about her and her life and her family that she left and the way that her family commemorated her death. Um, by the way, in an extraordinary way, Kim was vegan and the family also decided to start up uh, a shop for pets, um, which is extremely cute and so nice that the family chose to take this awful, awful story to unique and special ways to commemorate her death and also uh, in this project by making one of her favorite favorite um cakes carrot cake um the thing with the project is that you have to make it exactly like the recipe so they will be as much similar as the fallen like to eat so that's why we really have to keep on the details and the little details um so this is the um the recipe and let's start cook Hello everyone. Thank you all for joining me today at this special, very special program. It's called Recipe with Memory. Um, as explained in the presentation, Recipe with Memory is a project that commemorates victims of terror and fallen soldiers uh, in Israel uh, by their recipe, but with their favorite recipes. Um, it's a great and very meaningful and touching program. And today we're going to bake a carrot cake in the memory of Kim. So here I have my I'm, special I'm, I'm assistant, the assistant, the assistant the that um, let us use our, her amazing kitchen. Um, so we're going to start now. So the first thing that we need is one and a half cup of white flour, full purpose flour. And the next thing that we're going to need is one and a half cups of whole wheat flour that we have right here. Um, the next thing that we need is one and a half tablespoons of baking powder. Right here. We will need one tablespoon of 
cinnamon right here. We will need third, uh, a third cup of water, a half cup of silan, which is um, date, date, syrup. Honey, date syrup. Yeah, date syrup. And one cup of sugar, three tablespoons of oil, one tablespoon of vanilla extra, and three medium carrots. We have right here. So, we're going to start. Do you, do you want to melt the butter? Oh, we don't need butter. We will because need... you mentioned just now butter. Oh, okay. we don't need but we need butter. No, we don't need butter. butter we need you mentioned butter. silan, which means okay. um, date, date, syrup. date syrup, date syrup, exactly. Um, okay, so the first thing we need is to grate the carrots and put them in a small bowl. We already have prepared. So these are the carrots that we have right here. So as I mentioned, three medium carrots. So we're gonna, Misusha, if you wanna. All of it? Yeah, all of it. Thank you so much. So after we did that in a different bowl, we're gonna mix the flour, the baking powder and the cinnamon. So we will need one and a half cups of white flour the whole purpose flour that we have right here. Shall we put the carrot in this? Because in a different bowl, I think they want and to then because mix the eventually carrot. you're mixing with. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. So we will need one and a half cups of white flour. Thank you so much. This is the white flour. This is the whole wheat, and I'm gonna put in a different one, the white flour. So before we put that, we need the white flour. Okay. You can push, you can push that inside and fill it up. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. So, what, one cup? Yeah. That's one cup, okay? Yeah, thank you. And now we need one and a half tablespoons of baking powder that we have right here. We're gonna open our baking powder. So one and a half tablespoons of baking powder. And we're gonna add our cinnamon, which we need one tablespoon of it. Scissors. You can use scissors. That would be a great idea. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. All right. I've not <laughs> opened that enough. Careful on your fingers. One, oh, that smells amazing. One, one tablespoon. One tablespoon. Yes. Ooh, smells smells amazing. And that's enough. <laughs> so now, what do we need to do now? Now we need to add the water and the date honey, the oil, the vanilla extract, and mix well. So how much water? So we need three and that what? sign three, four, three quarters, mm -hmm. three quarters. Perfect. Three quarters. Three quarters of cup. Yes. Oh, okay. 
that that's three quarter. Amazing. And now <laughs> we need the oil. Now we need the oil. How much? Indeed, three tablespoons. Three tablespoons. Yes. That's the oil. It's coming in tablespoons. Emmet, we say the same. We say kapit for yeah. both. Yeah. Kapit or kaf. Oh, you're right. We use kapit for the smaller one and yeah, kaf this is for, for kaf of the big one. So that's so you know, three. I'm living here for, for so long. I, I, so I forgot my paper. Three, three tablespoons. Shalosh kapot. Tablespoon. Yes. This is the one. Two. Three. So now we're gonna put in a cup, half a cup of date honey. Or we can use regular honey as well, as they say in the recipe. It's really important. Put it straight in... here. Put it straight oh. here. I'll put it straight here. Yeah, it goes much better. Okay. With honey. So we need half, half a half a cup. Half a cup. Yes. Half a cup. Is it open oh. here? No. Mm. That's it. <laughs> She's not balabusta enough <laughs> with, <laughs> with all the ingredients. Got it. Yeah, I mean balabusta baby. I mean baby. balabusta is a baby. Is it? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> so how much was it? I forgot. Chatzikos. Chatzikos. The chatzikos. Chatzikos. And now we also need our vanilla extract, which we need one tablespoon of it. Mm. Advasha time. <laughs> I love dvash. I love honey. Really? Mm. In fact, I'm using now this manuka honey. It's quite a... Maybe it'll be better than. I look straight. That's amazing. So we need one tablespoon of the vanilla mm -hmm. extract. Kafahat. You see, it's quite a lot, one tablespoon. Again. Okay. Okay. Oil a round pan and put the mixture back inside. So we need to mix this. We have to mix. I tell you what. Okay, with this, is it good enough for them? Yeah, it's amazing. Good. So we're gonna mix what we did right now. This is really a quick cake. <laughs> it's a really quick cake. I never baked that. That's really if it is just to put everything together and that's it. So we need to oil the round pan. Oil around. No. So what we are going to put it in to? We're going to put this what this thing in the oven. Yes, it okay. is possible. So it we're going to. It's pirate. Oh, amazing! So we can. So let's use our. Or otherwise, I have something you can. Make. If you just let me see here. <clears throat> is it a big cake? It comes very big. We're going to take the carrots that we have. It shouldn't be flat cake. It should be quite there. I think that will okay. be I think that will be amazing. So I should be special. We're going to take the carrots that we that we have in the beginning and add it to our mixture. it well. Now we're going to add one cup of sugar. Is 
that the cup is oily. So use this one. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Mix it. Now we're going to put it in our pan and bake it for 40 minutes in 356 degrees. 300. 300. 300. <laughs> I was so close. I was very, very close. You got 350. So do you want it more? 356. The shish. Video. Video. 356 is video. Okay. That's it. I'm going to put it in the pot. I'm going to put it in the pot. My mom takes a lot of recipes from their web. They have a website mm -hmm. with all of the recipes for all of the fawns. It's called Matkoni Zikawam. My mom likes to take the recipes from that website. So we can use a big, big pan. You know, it tastes wonderful. Really? Oh, sorry. I think we're gonna, we're gonna taste our carrots. Mm -hmm. You can taste our carrots in our cake. Yeah. I think it will be great. It's quite a lot of sugar for me. April. Do you like to show? Yeah. How does it look now? <laughs> uh uh. That's it. <laughs> so we're going to put it in the it oven. It's beautiful. Yeah, it looks amazing. So we're going to put it in our oven. For 40 minutes. Okay, let's see what's the time now. 50, 7 50. 40 minutes. So it's about half past eight. Half past eight. Awesome. So thank you so, so much, guys, for joining us today. Um, the thing with the project, they really aim for people to make the exact recipe. So they will be exactly like the full and like to like to, to eat and like and like exact same taste. But that's called like your much salt cake. So, <laughs> no. so today's today's your much salt, which is indeed our Independence Day. Yesterday we had our Yom Zikaron. But I think, you know, when I start to think of like doing this program, this Yom Zikaron program on Yom Yom Atzmaut, I think it like I think it's okay because like because of those people we have our independence, right? So remembering and commemorating them on Yom on Yom Atzmaut. Remembering it's, it's amazing. Still yeah. very very important. Um, so thank you so much. And I hope you, you got an amazing carrot cake and it tastes really well. And thank you. Bon appetit. Bitte bon. Bitte bon. Delicious. Really?